Let a, b, and c be positive real numbers. Prove that a divided by root of a squared plus 8bc plus b over root of b squared plus 8ca plus c over root of c squared plus 8ab is greater than or equal to 1. I have done several similar IMO inequalities in my previous videos using the AMGM inequality, but this is so far the hardest one. First, the inequality is homogeneous. Look at the fractions of the left-hand side. Their numerators a, b, and c are linear terms. Their denominators are roots of homogeneous quadratic polynomials, also linear. So, if a, b, and c are rescaled by a constant k, the inequality will remain the same. Without loss of generality, we assume a plus b plus c equals 3 for the rest of the video. You can use other scales, the proof will be similar. Secondly, the equality hold when a, b, and c are all equal to 1. This is the hint of the AMGM or Cauchy Schwarz inequalities. In order to prove the inequality, we estimate its three terms of the left hand side. By the AMGM inequality, 9 times the first term, 9a over root of a squared plus 8bc, plus another expression, a times root of a squared plus 8bc. The sum of these two expressions is greater than or equal to 2 times their geometric mean, meaning square root of their multiplication. If you watch my previous videos, you will see this trick was used quite often. For example, the constant 9 here is chosen so that when a, b, and c are all equal to 1, the first term 9 times 1 divided by root of 1 plus 8, that's root 9, which is 3. So the first expression equal to 3. And the second one, 1 times root of 9, also equal to 3. In other words, the 9 is chosen so that these two expressions are balanced for the purpose of the AMGM inequality. Then, 9 times the first term of the left-hand side is greater than 6a minus a times root of a squared plus 8bc. Similarly, we can establish the lower bound of the second and the third terms of the left-hand side. And then sum up. 9 times the first term plus 9 times the second term plus 9 times the third term of the left-hand side of the original inequality is greater than or equal to 6a plus 6b plus 6c minus the sum of a times root of a squared plus 8bc plus b times root of b squared plus 8ca plus c times root of c squared plus 8ab. The first sum because a plus b plus c equals 3, so it's 18. If we can prove the second sum is less than or equal to 9, then the difference is greater than or equal to 18 minus 9, which is 9. The inequality 
is established. So we successfully reduce the inequality into a relatively simpler form from sum of divisions into sum of multiplications. We need to prove its upper bound is 9. Again, we estimate the three terms of the left side separately. The first term times 6 and a equals root of a times root a. This is actually a tricky part. I will explain later. Now, it is equal to 2 times 3 times root a and the other root a combined with the last square root come up with a cubed plus 8 abc. We have a 2 times a factor times another factor. It is less than or equal to the square of the first factor plus the square of the second factor. We are using an inequality like 2xy is less than or equal to x squared plus y squared. And the equality hold when x equals y. Now, you will see where this 3 coming from. When a, b, and c are all equal to 1, 3 root a equals 3, and root of a cubed plus 8 abc is also 3. So the two terms are balanced. Simplify it, we got 9a plus a cubed plus 8 abc. When I first tried the problem, I was thinking about a different way. I was considering 3a as the first factor without separating it into two square roots. This indeed ends up with a simpler expression. Unfortunately, it doesn't work. I will come back to this later. We have a similar estimate for the second and the third terms. Then sum up. 6 times the left hand side of the inequality. Less than 9 times a plus b plus c plus a cubed, b cubed, and c cubed plus 24 times abc. The target is to prove it less than or equal to 6 times 9, which is 54. We already know a plus b plus c equals 3. So we need the remaining part to be less than 27. This is not straightforward. As a matter of fact, if a plus b plus c equals 3, then by the AMGM inequality, a cubed plus b cubed plus c cubed is greater than or equal to 3, but abc is less than or equal to 1, and therefore 24 abc is less than or equal to 24. So we cannot simply add them up. But still, the second inequality, 24 abc is less than or equal to 24, is dominating, meaning the sum of these two inequalities has the same direction with the second one, less than or equal to, less than or equal to. Before we prove it, let's go back to the previous step. I mentioned that the estimate 10a squared plus 8bc doesn't work. Let's see why. 6 times the left-hand side is less than or equal to 10 times a squared plus b squared plus c squared plus 8 
times BC plus CA plus AB. By the AMGM inequality, we can prove 10 times a squared plus b squared plus c squared is greater than or equal to 30, and 8 times bc plus ca plus ab is less than or equal to 24. Different directions. When they add up, the first term is actually dominating. So 10 a squared plus b squared plus c squared plus 8 times BC plus CA plus AB is actually greater than or equal to 54. So we can prove this using the AMGM again. So you see, this inequality go to the wrong direction. The challenge is to establish a lower bound of A cubed plus B cubed plus C cubed. This can be done by factoring a cubed plus b cubed plus c cubed minus 3abc. It equals a plus b plus c times a squared plus b squared plus c squared minus ab minus bc minus ca. You can check it by expanding the multiplication. Replace a plus b plus c with 3. We need to estimate a squared plus b squared plus c squared minus ab minus bc minus ca. We know a plus b plus c squared equals a squared plus b squared plus c squared plus 2ab plus 2bc plus 2ca. Therefore, a squared plus b squared plus c squared minus ab minus bc minus ca would be the square of a plus b plus c minus 3 times ab plus bc plus ca. And then we know a plus b plus c is 3, so we got 3 squared, which is 9 here. Then plug in the result into the previous equality. Here, a squared b squared plus c squared minus ab minus bc minus ca is replaced by this expression. It equals 29 minus 9 times ab plus bc plus ca. If we can prove ab plus bc plus ca is greater than or equal to 3 abc, then negative 9 times AB plus BC plus CA would be less than or equal to negative 27 ABC. As a result, we have A cubed plus B cubed plus C cubed minus 3 ABC is less than or equal to 27 minus 27 abc so a cubed plus b cubed plus c cubed plus 24 abc is less than or equal to 27 this is our target this is the last piece of the puzzle the arithmetic mean of three positive numbers a b and c is 1. Therefore, their geometrical mean cubic root of ABC is less than or equal to 1. On the other hand, consider another three positive numbers, 1 divided by A, 1 over B, and 1 over C. Their arithmetic mean is also greater than or equal to their geometrical mean. So, the sum of these three numbers is greater than or equal to 3 times their geometrical mean, which is 3 divided by cubic root of ABC. We just proved the cubic root of ABC is less than or equal to 1. Therefore, the fraction is greater than or equal to 3 divided by 1. 
multiplied by ABC, we got BC plus CA plus AB is greater than or equal to ABC. The proof is done. Thank you for watching.